Hello everyone, it's me, NYSC Einstein from the floor of the New York Stock Exchange, June 25th. These days are busy, these days are up and down, they are volatile. I don't think I would call it markets in turmoil, I would just call it super exciting stuff. You could narrate this scenario in many different ways. I think what's sort of important to say is though that there was no follow through in yesterday's big sell off due to the big negative narrative about trade wars and tariffs. They spun it, they spun it, they spun it, they spun themselves right out of a negative market. They started talking about recessions and this and that. One day does not a market make. Yes, there's some fear over the trade wars. Yes, there's some fear over tariffs, but I don't, we don't know anything. Nothing's etched in stone. We're in negotiation mode. If there was real fear on it, I think the market would have sold off more and there would have been a follow through into today. Today's market, we came in, it was sort of a, I wouldn't have called it a dead cat bounce by any means because it rallied back and it built momentum on the upside. It was strong. We ended up popping midday around up 100 points. The S&P was up 10 handles. Everything seemed solid. And then what happened? I have told you, and it's not a really overly known fact, that there is an overriding sell position coming into equities of 30 billion over the next four or five days until the closing out of June. That is a pension fund rebalancing. It came out as Credit Suisse, 18 pension funds saying that there's going to be a, realloca a reallocation of funds coming into the end of the quarter and the end of the half with equities up 1.4% for the quarter, 4.7% for the year, out of equities and into fixed income. That feels legitimate. That makes sense with what we're seeing in this market. We're seeing some 300, I would say, of the sell-off points yesterday were probably contributing to the tariff narrative in a negative way. And then another 200, we were down 500 at its peak, or something to do with the pension fund rebounds. Today's solid rebound up 100 was just basically because there isn't bid in the market. Market's at 24.3. Oh, we haven't really, we've broken, yes, it was the first time the Dow broke the 200 day moving average for a while. We have had eight out of 10 days that we're down, but we're still around the 24,000, 24, 5 mark in the Dow. The S&P's at reasonable levels. The Russell's off record, just off record highs. The FANG, which got, which rebounded, was down 100 yesterday. I had not seen that before. Up 40 today. So there's a bit in the market. Market feels strong. You can spin this any way you want. Eight out of 10 days down. Yes, but if there's some of the days are down 50 or 100 in a market that's up 30 and 40 and double digits over the year or the last 18 months, it's not that significant. We're not seeing follow through sell side in a big way. Today's rebound was interesting and significant, I think, just to say that where is a bid in the market? Oil, 70, 73, I told you that. We're at 63 and a quarter. They decimated it last week. We're going back. Goldman called an $80 number. I called this for sure. Three, six and a half, 63 and a half, 64, 65. We got a rebound. OPEC meeting was reasonable. Only a million, dollar, only a million barrels restriction on production. That's solid. That's a big rebound. That contributed to this rally in the market for sure. So what happened here on the close? We had a huge sell program. It was about 400, 800, 1 billion dollars worth of sell side. And then it catapulted into the 2 billion dollar sell side program that came out at 345. And I think the market responded to it. So we're going to see some profit taking, some reallocation in the pension fund market, coming into the close of business every day coming into the end of June. That's my explanation of this scenario. Solid rebound off yesterday. Sell side, don't go for that negative narrative that they started spinning. Stay in it to win it. Stick on the train. Stay with Einstein. Inside Verstoff, I love you. I'll see you tomorrow.